Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Alexei and today what we're going to be doing is taking a look at Joel Wanasek's split bass trick. Joel Wanasek is a metal sound engineer who has been working with such great metal bands as Machine Head, Attila, Monuments and many more. Also, Joel is a co-founder of Nail the Mix, the best online community on recording, mixing and mastering metal music. So, in our today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Joel Wanasek's approach on splitting bass. First of all, let's have a listen to our bass DI. To split our bass, we have to highlight our audio track of our bass DI and then we have to use right click on our mouse and here we should choose duplicate track complete. Now we have two identical bass tracks. So we can give a new name to our first bass DI audio track, something like bass bottom and we can give a new name to our second bass DI audio track, something like bass tab. Now let's have a listen to our bass tracks. So for now our bass audio tracks sound identical because we have duplicated our bass DI. Now let's use some cue for our bass bottom and for our bass top audio tracks. For our bass bottom, we're gonna be using high pass filter and low pass filter. And in this case, for our bass bottom, we have to cut all of our highs. So for our high pass filter, we're gonna be cutting around 30 Hz. And for our low pass filter, we're gonna be cutting around 200 Hz. The same idea goes about our bass top. And in this case, we're gonna be using again high pass filter and low pass filter. But for our bass top audio track, we're gonna be cutting all of our lows. So in this case, for our high pass filter, we're gonna be cutting around one kilohertz. And for our low pass filter, we're gonna be cutting around 10 kilohertz. Now let's have a listen how our bass sounds. Why should we split our bass and why should we use different filters for our basses? Because this gives us individual control of the basses frequency ranges. Then we can limit our bottom end of our bass because in this case it helps the bass sit perfectly in the mix. And let's have a listen to our bass sound. Now let's have a listen how our bass sounds in the mix. And finally, for our bass tap, we can add some distortion for our tap end. And finally, let's have a listen how our bass sounds in the mix. Thank you so much for watching, I hope this video will be useful for you. If you want to learn from Joel Wanasek on mixing metal, you can always join Nail the Mix. The link will be in the info box of this video. And see you next time.